All right, guys, here we are for another episode of The Punisher. Uh, we're on Season 1, Episode 9. Hello. And uh, I think we, we forgot to mention something last week. Uh-oh. That I forget Inconceivable. now. Oh, oh that, that what's his face was building bombs. We didn't. I don't think we, we brought up that uh, that army boy was building oh, pressure cooker. Was bombs. that in last episode or was the episode before last episode? I don't remember us ever talking about that. I thought we talked about Did it. Did we? All right, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, so we were like, guy ah, goes to Home Depot now. Like that's the solution. Oh yeah, yeah. Like handfuls. I, I think we didn't see him at all. Very last episode. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Was of. why? Yeah. So I remember when I saw him, I'm like, we didn't, oh, talk we didn't about touch it. base on that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, so he's uh, he's been he's, fucking he's busy blowing things up. Oh my and god. And I I thought I thought for a second that this was going to be kind of interesting i was like oh you know what he's doing he's writing things as if he's that other guy to try to mm. reason why he died and then he'll have a bomb explode there and then it will be like oh he died in his in his explosion that would be amazing i'm like and then i was like oh no he's become insane oh, <laughs> almost he's just, immediately oh he's just crazy. adopting the philosophies of that man <laughs> but uh the man who like was uh, like supremely discredited yeah. by whatever the fuck. I think he has his own twisted warped philosophy that's similar to that guy's philosophy where like he turned that guy into like one of them as well. Like it's just another yeah, shitty thing shill. and I'm the real thing or something like that. I don't know. It seemed like such a <clears throat> one eight like, like not a one eighty, that, that that's not exactly a right. three sixty. He he spun so off kilter of where we first met this character yeah. who were like, I just wanna go defend, I wanna work for Anvil, I wanna do this, and then it's like I wanna be a homeland security's nightmare. <laughs> um <laughs> I think they've done a decent job of like showing his like descent into like this or whatever. I guess I don't like, like uh, him anymore though. I like oh, him as a character. No, no, and, no. And it's not like I'm like, oh, he's such a bad character. I don't like him. I like don't like what they did with the character. I think they I oh. think they ruined a character that could have been cool. Eh. I think this could have been like like a little partner or a side thing or oh, it yeah, yeah. at least <laughs> been something interesting. They could have had him work for Anvil and he could have right, been like, right. oh, you're just an innocent kid. Oh, you've made me we soften my punishing heart. Oh, you're my friend now. Oh, Nothing give you a punishing heart, kid. Yeah. Go over here, man. No, I, I, Marine Red. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I, 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 I would agree with that because early on we were like, oh, maybe we have a potential for whatever for the Punisher here. So like they have, you know, cast him as like this thing to contrast the Punisher, but in this totally other way, as opposed to like he yeah. could have, like the Punisher could have looked at him and seen where he was headed and been like, wait, is that where I am? No, kid, this isn't the right thing. But and and, and it could have been like low key and like okay now yeah. it's that same thing but it's like holy shit I'm nothing like you you're a fucking coward and he's like yelling and like th and like Curtis even says you're shit on my shoe Curtis even says are you trying to get us killed like what are you doing yeah. <laughs> all that stuff which is great because he's because he, he goes like on tilt he's like he like can't handle it he's like because uh, you know like uh, the kid Lewis is it is like I'm just doing what you did man like 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 whatever man yeah and it's so and the op like I don't even know how you could even even as a crazy person like how oh. do you think it's the same thing ah you did nothing but punish people, kill bad guys and drug dealers. I blow up innocent civilians and property. In the name of like fighting for what's right or whatever. Why not kill bad guys in the name of fighting what's right? Because he's trying to stop uh, the real evil, which is the government. Ugh. I, I feel like the when people do things like this, I'm like, you're so dumb and don't seem to understand how it works. I'm yeah, gonna, no, I'm gonna make sure to you do. know that we should all be allowed to have guns by taking my guns and killing people in the name of letting oh, people no, no. have guns. Exactly. And like, what? Every, are you an and, idiot? No, and like when these bombs go, you know, go, <laughs> go off, as we've seen in like real life, the reaction just makes things worse in that way that you were trying to stop. The government gets more control. They get more like ability to search things and fuck with yeah, stuff. Yeah, I would love to see <coughs> like a group of people that all have licenses to carry just walking the streets and the second anything bad happened they just blow people away I'm like thank god I had my gun legally yelled <laughs> like, like something like that like gun. just like a bunch of like the, what it was called like the defending angels those guys used to oh walk god. around with the little Gar club guardian, guardian angels, angels with, like with the, the, the berets, and the berets or something. yeah I know. I like don't that only effective and with guns. I know. I I think that the sad reality, and I haven't researched this, is that that's almost n literally never happened. That's like an argument that like gun people like uh, give. Yeah. But I I think in like a real situation, someone without like training, someone who's not. Oh yeah, it's, it's a danger to everyone around them. Well, and like if you were, you know, even if you had the training to be able to identify as if you were seeing it on the news later tonight, like who's the bad guy? Why are these people yes. running? Who do I shoot? And all that stuff is not like. Oh no no. 
we don't really want you would, that. You would need <laughs> no, but you would have to I have know. this this Frank Castle type character of being yeah. a champion of things like that. I would let Frank Castle take care of that. No, yeah. no, but it, like you'd never have that. You never have someone like that. Like no, he was he was a hundred percent in the right. He was in the right place at the right time. He saved innocence, and then and then goes like it's all thanks to this gun. <laughs> like you don't ever have that. Okay, yeah. You know, <clears throat> anytime you do have someone save someone, they're like like I just hope that somebody would help me if I were in that situation. Yeah, I thought of her as if it was my daughter. Yeah, blah, you blah, like, like you, you like, don't have a, a you, guy uh, who's like you know. <laughs> you pluck someone off of the subway tracks. You yeah. like push someone out of the way. No one like shoots knife. the subway track <laughs> and stops that third rail. From I kept shooting them. the subway until it stopped. Yeah, <laughs> that's wonderful. Um, so like, uh, yeah, things sort of get like messy here, but like, I think that the point that they're trying to make is that be because Karen calls it out. Curtis uh -huh. calls it out. Everyone kind of calls out that there's this similarity between the two of them. I think you and Frank are right that they're not the same. But, like, from one perspective, if you boil it down, it's like, well, this is just someone who's like, well, the rules don't apply to me, and I'm allowed to kill people if I want, because this is what I believe. And you're like, oh, God, no. And that's, uh, you know, Frank now giving, you know, making that face like, what? No, 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 no. That's not how it is. Yeah. And trying to, like, defend his position, which is interesting to me. You get a little contrast with, uh, with your... The whole, like, you're your not shit. special defense thing where, like... Uh, like, well, why can you break any rule and this person can't break any rule? Like, I understand right. that. Uh, and, and, yes, it makes sense. But there's, there's certainly a difference, a, a distinction between a terrorist and, yeah, and, and another terrorist who only attacks even, people uh, that are causing terror. Even Karen, who, like, compared the two unfavorably later on the radio, says, well, Frank Castle's not a terrorist. She, like, lays that down, right? Yeah. So, like, it was I actually like shit like that getting injected into my... The superhero action series, right? Because yeah. you had even like the you know the actual Civil War comic book thing where like something happens and now it's like, well, how do we respond to that? What regulations, whatever? Fuck. I think if you just take a general um, poll of people during the Punisher's uh, escapades of killing yeah. bad guys, they're like, good, he's doing what the cops can't. Like, yeah. your general like Joe, every man on the street was in fi mostly in favor of what was happening here. Like, oh, the guy who's peddling drugs to my kids is dead. Oh no. Yeah. The guy who's stealing my wife's purse. Oh no. Yeah. This guy who's blowing shit up, kill them all. No, but then, like, uh, I don't think you're going to get many people going, yeah, we should have guns. That's the best way to do this. Good job, Lewis. Blow those fuckers up. Who are well, those? And Innocent like, people? <laughs> and like what Lewis is doing would never... Uh, change gun control policy no. or whatever. Well, it could for the, for the worst. worst. <laughs> I, that's what I mean. Like, like in the way that he would like. No, it's um. But that was a cool scene with the radio and like the host, and then Lewis calls. Did you not the think it was strange that it wasn't uh, Trish Talk? Uh, well, maybe. I thought that would have been a perfect reason. Are to they have in that. the right city? I'm so turned around. Is that supposed to be? Yeah, I guess that's New York. New York. It has that's to be how, New York. That's right? how they all meet up because they're all that's in the same the place. The whole thing. Well, uh, you know, they met up, but there was, uh, you know, he had to like leave town. I guess he was in like a different town and came back. I'm well, not really clear prison. about what happens. No, when he was hammering, he had to like peace out from like the hammer. Oh, town oh, oh! I, I thought you were talking thing. about Luke. I thought you were no, talking no. about all, Defender. All that happened there. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. It feels like New York, but I'm not really sure where it's at. I don't even know if he was ever not in New York. Hammering and stuff? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a very strange, strange thing where I'm like, okay. Uh, and then, like, you know, he gets picked up on that dashboard cam, and now he's, like, you know, public knowledge <coughs> that he's alive. Well, that's, like, the end. That, that's, like, the big drop. That's, yeah. like, he's in, he's in Micro's lair, and there's screens all around him. Frank Castle, Frank Castle, Frank Castle. And that was done really well. Oh, God. No, I felt <laughs> it. And he turns around with his face like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, oh, God. Does it really it's all come change crashing anything, down. though, like knowing he's alive? Well, it's good that we got there because like, if, if it just never happened, it would kind of leave things weird in the future. And if it happened like at the end of episode 13, it might be weird. Like, well, what the fuck does that mean now? So I'm, I'm glad they got it out of the way. I guess. Where it's but like, like, okay, for most of what he does, it's, it's like, like a farce. covert operation where it's yeah. illegal anyway. <clears throat> yeah. It's wrong for anyone to be doing any of these things. Knowing that it's him, I don't know how much... Maybe that, maybe it means that they'd have a, a bigger police presence I was just gonna say, on like, the standby. The, yeah, the, but, only, uh, the only difference is that now if he's spotted, it's not... Wait a minute, is, is that Frank Castle? It's like, holy shit, I found him and like yeah, and like yeah. shit goes immediately so it kind of just like ups the stakes as I we love get when into he this bricks time that here. dude i know <laughs> i th so that's kind of ridiculous though right why didn't he shoot him when you when he threw the brick at him he's a cop he doesn't kill cops no i mean why didn't the cop shoot shoot him he had a gun oh, pointed oh. at him and, and and he let him run up and throw throw a rock at him well at the <laughs> moment well we're 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 assuming for one second uh, these were good cops uh, in the sure. sense that they were good at being cops, not like, you know, I'm, I'm a good well, man, a cop. Uh, so, like, at, the, at that time, be. Frank, uh, as he was, is only a potential suspect. It wasn't 100% him. He didn't know he was Frank Castle. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was... 
just a, a thing of I don't shoot unarmed men. <laughs> and then he's armed. He has a rock. I think he picked it up pretty quickly. I don't. That was so. That's the kind of thing that is fine for me, but I would have assumed you would have thought would have been totally ridiculous because he had like an hour to like shoot him. He has, to, he has to pick up the rock. Bad he has to do this. So he, he, had he fired, I I would be a hundred percent fine with it. Had okay. he fired and like missed, I would have been like, "Yep, he's a stormtrooper. That's fine." But the uh, fact I that he stared at him and let the rock fly at his face and hit him uh, how I drove me crazy. It, uh, and, and again, I only watched it once, and now it's like you know, it's blurry from being a memory. I thought that he turned a corner close to the wall, picked up that rock, so it was out of sight through his oh, left maybe. hand. Okay. Uh, I did not. But pick I could up be wrong. That. that no, that that would have totally done it. He was in like alleyways and That's stuff like I that. That's what I thought. I thought totally he saw possible. him here, and then he ran along this wall, got out of sight, came out, hit him with the rock. Okay, that would do it for me too. Uh, but I will never watch it again, and I'll I never see it again uh, yeah. for the next hundred years. Yeah. But uh, a minor point, but he steals. And the that door, the, gah, 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 gah. <laughs> I love shit like that because because in some like action movies and and things like that, they just go like ping, and the guy like gets knocked out, un you know, unconscious. Yeah. I love when it's like fuck, fuck. Will you just okay, good? And then they have to like get him out of the thing, like his things, uh, you know, because his, his knees and ribs are now just irreparably <laughs> yes. damaged. But like, like even like strangling someone takes longer than it, you know you think it does from movies, and like like knocking someone out or like incapacitating someone. So I love when someone has to try repeatedly to get something to I've like work. I've only in life ever seen one guy get choked out. Okay, and uh, it happened very quickly. If you cut uh, off it, the, uh, it's it's a combination of when you're uh, when you have them locked in well yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're strong. Struggling, they're losing all their air quicker because they're trying to fight, <laughs> well, and then they're dead. If you get that uh, big vein that goes to the brain or the artery or uh -huh. something like that, that can like get, you know like you know knock you out very quickly. But like strangling you like to death or whatever takes a lot longer than like mu you know movies usually portray it to be. Yeah, this was like a chokehold. Yeah. It was maybe like yeah. six seconds, if, and the guy like passed out. Yeah, if you're doing some like jujitsu shit, that's a whole different story. And it was like a big fat guy. He dropped right to the ground, <laughs> like a big puddle of fat guy. Yeah, it was it was it was crazy. But like when you see that for the first time, you're like you don't like, you don't realize like that shit actually works. So whenever you're watching oh. movies, you're like you're like ah oh, that guy's choked to death. A Vulcan like, neck pinch. The whole like the whole knocking someone out from choking thing as a kid didn't understand it. Why uh, not? It, it well like you know no one is explaining it to you. Uh, so I'm li like from until age seven, I was like I was like they're murdering those people. <laughs> oh okay. And then like when I actually saw it, I was, I was like ah. Oh. Oh. That shit actually works. He was only out for a couple seconds too. Like he, oh, he came okay. right back. Yeah, and that was definitely the like uh, yeah. the whatever it is. Oh, what's that vein called? Carotid artery is the only yeah. one I can think of. Is that it? It's that one or or the other. There's like two or something. I, I always think of the leg when I think carotid artery. That's the femoral artery. That's the femoral artery. You can also pressure point that and make the legs explode. <laughs> ping, 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 ping. Zeno. Your whole ass falls off. It's great. Uh, so so Billy, did he let slip this episode? Did he say something they shouldn't have said? I took it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he I said, wonder. He said, well, well, he had the gun. How did he get knifed? And I'm like, yeah. did that ever get said to Billy? I am actually. And I don't know what happened because like, she would have had to tell him everything behind the door. We didn't actually see that conversation. Well, she, but I would yeah. not be surprised if in episode 13 she goes, how did you know he got shot? I know, and I know. Then, you know. Yeah, yeah. How did you know he didn't shoot? So like, we only have <laughs> his face when she leaves to go by or whatever the yeah. fuck. But she, I think, is good enough to maybe play that off. I'm not sure. I'm yeah. really not sure because she seemed really. Uh, it would uh, that would be awesome. I hope that's what happened. I don't know, because um, she either left like like in a huff because he suggested that uh, it was her partner's own fault that he died or something like that. Maybe. Or that was to cover for the fact that he let something slip. The look on on like his face was like, oh, I fucked up. But he might just think he fucked up by pushing too far to yeah, like shitting on say. Sam, right? Yeah, that's interesting. Because in in general, that like it would have been a push. Uh, you know, you know, overstepping of your boundaries to, to, to sure, like, you know, yeah. say this person, your your girl is is grieving over. I know it's his own fault. Super dumb, yeah. But yeah, and, but when they said, "Well, you weren't even there," blah blah. blah before that, I was I was I was like, ah, all right. Are you are you triggering me to try to think like are you are you are you trying to make me watch this part with more intent or is that just a thing they're not like you know oh they said that this thing blah, 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 he was there blah, blah blah we said that did she know that like yeah either it's, she's like either neither you're saying were you. this to make me want to know now he fucked up or yeah. to like just plant a false flag here okay so it could either so it's obviously something I think we can agree on I, that I would imagine but it's either it is it, an intentional yeah. 
It's uh, either what it is or it's a misdirect because yeah. they did a lot of, you know, face camera, right? And there was the word play there that made it so, like, I do hate false flags, but I, I don't know. He did, like, specifically outline, you know, how do you, uh, you know, how, you know, he was one with the gun. How do you get knifed or whatever the fuck? Yeah. So, like, those are some details where you might think that that's not something, you know? But I'm sure even if, uh, that's weird. Because would you even know he was knifed? So someone in like Billy's position very well, I think, could because he has he knows all these people. He could have you know possibly heard from some other. Source. No, no, no. My my thought would be like it might not have been a knife. It could have been any sharp. It could have been glass. It could have been an axe. Like any sharp implement. Well, yeah, but he, you know he could just say, well, yeah, like a knife. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see what that if that plays out. I'm gonna put a little pin in. No, there. I'm dying to see that now because I hadn't really considered that it was a like. Um, Full attempt to like make me think one mm. thing or the other. So that's cool. I thought it was an attempt at soft disclosure. Uh, what? <laughs> that's a conspiracy thing. Soft disclosure? Yeah. Oh, where you say a thing? We're like, uh, if if nine eleven was really an inside job, and then we make uh, political cartoons about nine eleven being an inside job or something like that. Okay. And they're like, they're like, well, they couldn't actually tell us it was an inside job, but they made oh, this cartoon Lord. featuring uh, Hagar the ho- the horrible, and and he's saying how his two towers in in you know, yeah, Finland yeah, yeah, were yeah. knocked over. How That's could they possibly disclosure. have burned down? And then it's Hagar's right hand man with a little, with, yeah. with a with a match. That's horrible. Okay. I, I've heard that Stranger Things is a series of soft disclosure about Jesus things that Christ. actually happened in that like Montauk Bay or whatever the hell that thing That's was wonderful. with the uh, dimensional rifts. Video on that coming up. Not not do a do 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 effect. So what else happens in this episode? Well, I took notes as they usually do, and it kind of runs down the whole like flow of it. Let's hear something. Madani's not doing well. Well, understandably so. We get some Madani mama. Yeah. Showing I up hate with that her awesome mom. Voice. I don't know. I like She's the voice. Just- I feel like she, the voice is great. Yeah. Don't get me wrong on the voice. Don't get me wrong. She, she just like, uh, she plays a, t- a stereotypical 90s mom almost. Where it's like, okay. oh, you're not going to talk to her? I'm right here. You can talk to me. Okay, then. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> like, just. She's a mess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, no. So, like, uh, the only, like, I'm giving it a pass because she's a psychiatrist or, 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 or psychologist or whatever. Yeah. So the kind and of her a, mother. Well, yeah, but so like the you know both of those factors combined for the kind of advice. And With the our powers combined, <laughs> we are foreign mother. Captain Madani's mother. I don't uh, like. It doesn't bother me for her to give certain like advice, and and mm. they even like remind you. She's like, "Let me write you a, a like prescription. You're not sleeping well or whatever." And yeah. she goes, "Fuck that shit. I'm not into that shit." So it's this whole thing. And like earlier on, she was kind of like, and like her, you know, uh, Madani says, "Don't psychoanalyze me," and all and, and, and all yeah. that stuff. So it's like the power of a mother and the power of your like fake like like unofficial therapist both combined to be like how are you coping with this what are you you know are you like are you like projecting what are you doing all this like weird where, yeah. where it like helps me to not care that she's because uh, otherwise like well why are you here what are you talking about how do you know all these things do you like, think whatever. she'll be fired Madani yeah. I'm interested to see what will happen now. The episode ends off at, on, like, a very weird note where Micro has, like, uh, uh, yeah. exposed things. And, like, so, like, uh, like we'll just do the whole Madani shit. Uh, Madani was about to, like, go. And I don't know if she meant at the funeral or just in general. I she think was, she meant at the funeral. That's such she a bad idea. She was going to say things, like, you know, like, lay it all on the table. I'm going to tell them everything. And I'd be like, really? <laughs> Sam's, like, family from out of town are going to want to hear you explain Kandahar and the fucking shit? Like, don't do that. That's horrible. I don't know. Um, She's not a so character in I, some ways. So. I hope she, she doesn't mean literally at the funeral, but maybe after the funeral she's going to go talk to that old I, dude I and she's going to lay it all out. More as, not that she was going to reveal all the, like, you know, the intricate details at the funeral, but she was going to say, like, you know, like, I know everyone wants me to hear, wants, wants me to say that, you know, he died doing what he loved, but he didn't. Yeah, he didn't even believe this. He was the kind of guy that would do a favor for a friend, and he was there. And, like, you know, make it, sure. like, paint it as a nice picture anyway, yeah, but, but not she, the way that, that but they, if, they But if she goes it. into, de- you know, all those, you know, because she kind of sums it up to Billy, you know, I think, like, uh, you know, uh, yeah, it was a fake thing to misdirect for a thing because I used Frank Castle's name because I think yeah. he's still alive because maybe I'm crazy, but you and the thing and all this different shit or whatever. But now that she knows he really... Uh, you know, she has like confirmation. She knows yes. someone who knows Frank, and it's this whole thing. And and he's the one who sent the tape that like started the whole thing. So now she might go, oh shit, wait, I can just solve this. I shouldn't blow my thing yet. I should keep going. Well, no, I think the opposite though. What what is what is that guy's name? Like her boss, the like Rafi. 
Rafi, is that him? Yeah. So Rafi, I think, is going to have no choice but to fire her now because she didn't, she didn't say what she knows, and that would have saved her. So yeah. she's going to be on the outs, but she has this knowledge from Micro, so she's going to use that, do some outside the, you know, the range of law things sure, to, sure. to solve some shit, and that's going to get her that promotion locked in. And I she'll be reinstated, and that's how that's going to happen. Because she'll cowboy around, and they'll be like, yeah. we like your style going off on your own when you don't have any authority to do anything and come back. I think so. That's totally possible. And she needs Frank, so that might get Frank a pass, and they might like you know FBI him and like dead him again or something. Uh, I would have so I would have liked that a lot better if there was someone else in the organization. Maybe Rafa. Well, no, because that wouldn't work if he had to fire her. The only way that that whole thing works for me, like uh, logistically, and they might do it anyway, doesn't mean anything, is if she has some sort of ties to like the system still. But Sam would have been that guy, and he's dead now. Yeah. So she can't. Or <laughs> is it all a twist? A twist. <laughs> Sam's not dead. You mean? Yeah. Sam's got like a robot <laughs> body now. He's like a head in the jars, like a goldfish flying around. Uh, no, no I, uh, he, he, Agent Pulse in him, and, and like you know, he didn't actually die. It who? was all uh, from Marvel. Uh, the guy who gets stabbed with Loki's staff, and like, do it for him. He he, oh. blah, and then who? he's not dead. <laughs> yeah, is it no. Pulsen? No, I don't know. That's Pulsen? Fine. Pulsen? 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 Well, he comes back in the, in the, in the TV show, and it's like a horrible, painful thing or something like that, right? He's in the movies too. I think. We don't have that kind of technology. Uh, whatever though. Uh, no, but you see the point I'm getting at, right? Yeah. It's like her just being like, I'm here to help. Frank could be like, well, stay home. Because what do you, like, stay home with your shotgun. And your I, think I think that's what's going like, to be. I think she's going to show up, like, literally just with the pistol. But the way but that she... at the right moment, yeah. and uh, the Punisher's going to need backup. You can, you'll be the driver. You've already proven yourself. Uh, yeah. Such gross shit. So she could help by using the organization's resources to like do stuff. So unless she's, if she's in, still in the organization, yeah. But like, unless she's in, I'm not seeing how she could. Uh, like, she could just hang out with Micro. She could just help that way or something like that. But I it picture. Feels weird I picture literally just yeah. being a second gun. At I know. A, at a location. Would he want that? Has that been? I don't think he'll want it. I don't think it'll be something that they're going to plan ahead of time. I think. Okay. I think the Punisher's going to be doing something, to. and she's going to show up and like and be like, Whoa, oh. All right, oh, it's you. You go left. I'll go right. Red, you're still dead. All right, keep going. <laughs> Red, you come back next season. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, okay. I mean, I'm totally on board with that. I don't like it. I would rather that she end up in the organization, but beyond like triple, pro you know, surveillance, probation, and Agent Orange. Well, that could be it too. She could be fired and, and she just lose her thing. job, and she's um, no longer the the. the acting director and she's just back to a field agent. Yeah, or she gets suspended. So, like, that would be the classic move. She's, like, suspended, and then she contacts Sam, who's not dead, uh -huh. and says, I need your help. And he's like, I could get fired for this. And she's like, listen, you believe in the thing, right? We have to do the thing. And he goes, ah, fuck Click, 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 and then like, like you know, get some intel or or like does something or like fakes a thing to trap Agent Orange again. Like mm -hmm. something happens. Something. This is one whatever. of those perfect moments to introduce a character that 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 is is blindly faithful. <laughs> you okay. know, like in every show ever, it would be like at the funeral and be like, "I was Sam's best friend. Oh, if you no. ever need anything, <laughs> and be like I need something. <laughs> I need. I, oh, good, because I happen to need something. Fuck. That that's so, the kind of thing that happens. I know. Like I know. I just wish. So like that's the whole thing. So like if Sam wasn't Sam and there were two people and yeah. one's dead and there's another want to do that I see this the, this perfect through line Sam came from um, a, a, a long lineage of agents and his dad and granddad <laughs> help in the next episode <laughs> <laughs> the old men are running the cannons and the thing no I, I don't I don't ah uh. I I think that your thing's probably like the best thing. I just don't like it, and I wish we. Oh had no, this, it's this a terrible. Ad, okay, I'm, it's I just a know. prediction because I think that's what's going to happen. I don't want it to okay. happen because that's uh, that's really the only thing. Because she can't help unless she's in. That guy doesn't seem like he wants to let her back in. What can she do to get she's in? She's also still on medical leave. I think she can't even be like like you know the tribunal can't even act. Yeah, I she think, said I she couldn't go back. in until I. Uh, so she potentially <sighs> could just escape firing by still being mentally incapacitated and still having her pass codes. Okay. We'll see what happens with her if she's able to help or what the what, you know what, like what they do with her and stuff. What do you think um, is going to be the future of uh, Lewis? Lewis, I uh, still think Lewis could be approached by um, what's the guy's name? Billy. I think I think Billy could still approach Lewis ooh. and and like you know because now he still has missions that need to get accomplished and has no body. He's running out of dudes. And like hey. You, you went on a mission, blah, blah, blah. That's possible. And then you can get some, like, double thing where you'd be like, you, you, ah, eh. And then Lewis could have a moment of, like, like you know, we're fighting against the Punisher. The Punisher's a good guy. And he could have right. a, a Which last... of my two dads should I stick yeah. with? I know. Uh, that's totally possible. Because I'm interested. A redeeming I... factor. Probably something where he explodes himself. Yeah. I don't think he'll live. Ooh, what if that was the thing? If Billy has to be, um, if like Lewis has to be a suicide bomber at the end of the day, and it's this weirdly poetic bullshit thing, where he's got like a bomb strapped to himself, because he won't, has, cause he has won't to be go a down. 
a claymore must explode at some point because of they, all the claymore talk. So much claymore yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah. That that's okay. So we should just talk about the Lewis and Curtis and all okay. that other business. So the fucking Curtis goes there. That's when you know shit's really fucked. When he opens up the mail slot and he goes, oh. Oh, and like you can yeah. like smell the How death. How long does it take for that stuff to happen? Uh, shockingly small amount of time, I think. Really? I've heard that from like watching all like the crime shows and shit like back in the day or whatever. Okay. Um, not like you know, like he like you know he's going in there like like they, you know it smells like death in here or whatever. So it's probably been like a few days, but even that's enough. Like dead bodies are not cool to have around. I guess. Because uh, even like food you leave out is not uh, supposed to be eaten, but uh, definitely shouldn't. <laughs> Devil shouldn't eat this. What the person. hell is it? <laughs> Cannibals would not would not approve. I mean, things go bad. It's not like sure. un, it's not it's not like unheard of. Like after a, you know, like a picnic, you know, people aren't usually like, yeah, put that coleslaw back in the thing. I'm bringing it home. They're like, fuck that coleslaw. Yeah, but like coleslaw doesn't have like flesh wrapped around it to seal in the stink. No, your body's full of like bacteria that immediately begin to eat you. Sure, it's disgusting. I believe that. Uh, but he goes, and that's when you know, like, oh, shit's fucked. Because, because, like, because in my head, I'm like, wait, so has Lewis not been operating out of that apartment? He I, has. Well, yeah, that, and I'm like, oh, so no, he has. He's just been like, yep, it smells in here. I don't care, because he's totally Military fucking guy. batshit insane. Yeah. Uh, Courtesies the bomb making stuff. Yeah. They have this fight that I loved, and they even talk about it later. Where he's like, back in the day, I would have broken that little fucking half. Or, yeah, you know, well, because he only beat him because he uh, kicked his leg. It popped out of like he like placement. He went for the leg, and I was like, oh shit, he went for the leg, and then he kept going for the leg because he knows right? the weakness. I know, but it was this awesome thing that it if it, it like. In like a lesser, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, like show or movie or, or like he whatever, got it, on the first it would have been one triumphant thing. He would have been almost beaten, and he would have seen his leg, and he, and he would have looked and seen, and then like kicked his leg out. It would have been this like epic, like oh shit. But here it's like sloppy. It's like going for the leg, and then he like hits him, and he has to like you know back off, and then he goes again, and then he's finally on the ground, and he finally gets it. Like it's, it's like hard to do, yeah. and he and and. And he knows that he has the weakness. So he's actively fighting like against it. He's like kicking him, you know, with his good leg and all that shit. And he finally gets it, and like and like gets him that way. It was awesome. When he started clubbing him to death with the fucking I know. leg, I'm like, God damn. And they call that out too. He beat me with my own leg later yeah. on. You're like, he's, oh. a, he's a big guy. Yeah, uh, but that's you know. awesome. And like, like, but that kid's like, you know, half his age. Uh, you know, has no, you know, full of figurements. full of piss and vinegar. Yeah, ready to go. Uh, and and knows this is like you know his last chance he's gonna yeah. die here if uh, yeah yeah in prison <laughs> no I I thought it was ballsy for for Curtis to be like I can't leave here without you you know that like just to be like listen yeah or whatever you know not to be like okay man it's cool it's cool I'm just I'm just you know checking up on you I I'm see glad you. Curtis didn't die yeah I I honestly thought he was gonna get stabbed I thought there was gonna be yeah. like him pull a knife and just get him from the I side thought something there. was gonna happen totally. It was weird, though, to see him all lethal weaponed up, like he's, like, full of bombs and shit, yeah. and then Frank has to come in. Frank, also a bomb expert, apparently. No, no, um, but he wasn't a bomb expert, because he was like, he's like, I don't know which one of these No, but I. he knew about circuits and was checking all the wires and all well, that shit. I'm sure shit they take those classes. I don't know that. I don't know. I think anyone who's in the elite Marines uh, has... Has at least some training special and forces, whatever. Something because at some point he would have had to drop a bomb or uh, you know I lay guess. a claymore or something. That's who does that. I I don't know. That's like too much for me, but I'm okay with it. That didn't get me as too much at all. I was I was like, yep, that seems like a thing. He keeps being an expert in all these things that people devote he, their whole thing. But he's thing. not an expert. That's the thing. Okay, he, he could not disarm the bomb. He keeps being. If he would have looked at it and went uh huh and like yes, pulled out yes, a thing yes. and just did it up and I'm like, all right, that's a little much. I understand what you're saying. I'm not saying he uh, he was like like good enough to like do everything. I'm saying he had all this knowledge about it that I'm not sure he would have had. I feel like that's just saying like, yeah. all right, this is it, this is a bomb, <laughs> and then that's too much knowledge. It's a bomb. No, he knew like he open circuit, closed circuit, and was looking at everything. He's also and, like, a handyman. Also though, would have done the that's... thing. I know he has like, he has a, a like tremendously large set of skills. Yeah, he's just a man's man. I know. It's like uh, it's like it's like incredible to me. That he has I, all like, these skills. We know people that have skills like this. Not this many. Mark has more skills than this. He's not like uh, a murder. Like Frank's a murder machine. He's like a tactical genius. He's like a driving expert. He's like a. Uh, I don't like, think he fixes everything and all that stuff. He does all these different things. I don't think he's a driving things. expert. I think he knows how to drive. Yes, uh, but he was super good at it. 
But you know, there's no frame of reference of comparison. He he beat the one other person in the Who's show ever that driven was driving. Ever, I know. Like yes. so, it's not like it's not like we were watching him like uh, he, and he won the Indy 500 when he was not even trying. Yes, like, I'm not saying he's like competitive world elite at all these different things, but he's really good at all these different things. And at, as they keep adding more things that he's like 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 better than I would have expected, because he's not like I don't know anything about bombs. He's like hmm, okay, his wires here. Let's do the things and all that shit. And he's like checking all these different things to try to like. Uh, do something or whatever. I would have checked shit too, but it's like when I open my hood and I go, yep, I don't know what's going on in there. And I close it. Like, I don't know, because that's not my thing. I do other things or whatever. I, I think if you were to take the skills you have and just swap them interchangeably for the skills you've seen him use. <sighs> like if you're like, like, all right, I can do this. He can't do that. All right, we got that. It's I can write this. All right. like there's it's totally he has the right amount of skills for a normal human to have. Just he has no other skills. Like I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he's I, like a master infiltration, like a brought flowers guy. He's like an all like like everything Everything he's done, he's been, like, really good at, and they're all these very different things. It's not the end of the world. I'm not saying, like... No, I've this actually is like, thought he was like, underpowered. This is, like, ruining the show for me no, or that, something that, like that's that. No, that's what I think is interesting, is, yeah. like, while you think he's been OP, I actually think he's less powerful than I would have I would Not have even him. OP, just, like, too wide of a range. Like, I don't really know the Punisher from the I would have, like, books. the amount of... The amount of times where I think like he's foolishly been injured, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, ah, they're making him too human. No, like I, I don't know the Punisher from the comic books, and if he's supposed to have like all these different, like such a wider range of like things or whatever. So I don't know if it's weird or if I think it's like normal or something. Almost every character in the Marvel world has yeah. a, a large range of, of skills that yeah. are applicable to their their particular character. Just because you know it makes for better story. Um, yeah, and you have to have someone that can do stuff, and he's the only person on his team, so you ha it has to be him. It can't be like Micro is the really good driver, and he's like ah fucking I. People always drove people with with like the other MOS always drove the trucks and I don't know how to drive stick or something like that. Mm. It would be like weird. Well, I, I think guess, it's like like how I I know of some podcasts because you've talked about them. Yeah. If all your friends are just military crazy people, well, I know about some bombs because that guy I talked yeah. about. I know no, about no, no, some no. of this because that guy. I think I think he's gleamed enough of uh, stuff it all, over years of being all, a special Delta Alpha whatever. It all fits and it can all be like related. Like with the driving, I even said like, well, he's got excellent spatial reasoning. He's got excellent like. Uh, uh, hand-eye coordination, he's got really fast reaction times. These are all like super skills of the individual skill that I could believe that it's totally fine. There was a great, uh, there's an episode of some YouTube show where a guy who's great at carnival tricks, yeah. uh, he goes to the carnival and, and like he can best almost all the, all the different things that are like scams. And okay. he went with a professional baseball player and he's like, and for the, and for the stunts of, uh, of like, you know, knocking over balls and whatnot, I brought blah, blah. Like, you know, some like, like pitcher, he can throw okay. 100 miles an hour, like super accurately or whatever. Okay. And then like he goes on to do a thing where that guy was also able to beat almost all the other tricks. And he goes, yeah. he goes ah, it stands to reason if you're an elite athlete, you're are pretty good at anything physical and then like he like because he then takes him to the basketball thing he's like basketball is my thing this is an irregular hoop with an odd size and and the way they do this it makes you think it's farther away than it is and that guy like aced him at First every try one. everything and like he's, that. Like, he's like yeah huh Okay, and then there's like the dude perfect guys on YouTube where it's like, no, they can do any sport, <laughs> and I think no, I think it's the uh, same thing. You have that. That's like what I'm, no, and th and that's my like reasoning here. It's it's like um, people back in the day that were like performers. It's uh -huh. like, oh, you can sing and dance and play piano and tap dance and like act yeah. in movies, and you've done Shakespeare. Like you just have this wide range of like similar like related skills. Yeah, and there's like you know billions of people on Earth. There's gonna be a couple awesome ones. I'm willing to go with it. I just want to, I don't know, I, like, s things keep getting added where I'm like, okay, he's, he's an awesome cook. He makes weird, exotic food from places that I don't think he was. Uh, okay, whatever, Vietnamese. He's probably been everywhere. I don't know. I have no idea. They didn't establish anything. Oh, yes. He doesn't it, have, like, a Vietnamese redacted, nanny. so you actually can't they establish see it, he's but done. It the, of, would, who, that. <laughs> it's just, and then, then black text in between. A. Yeah, like, fuck. Yeah. Uh, so they're staking out Madani when the explosion goes off. I really liked the line, she's either dirty or a shit magnet or something yeah. like that. And it kind of got me to think, like, it kind of is like a shit magnet. Everything's been going super shitty for her uh, Do you like time. how Micro's in a blanket? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go take a leak. Like, he's totally like a fish out of water, but in this, like, great way yeah. where he's like, what? And he's not just pissing on the ground. He's peeing in jugs. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, no DNA. It's amazing. And he's like he's like rubbing his hands together so his Johnson's not gonna get like too much of a shock and all that <laughs> stuff. Like the whole thing, those little touches, it, it like reminds me of that sandwich scene uh -huh. when he's like 
It was all in the fridge. What do you mean? He's like, you son of a bitch. I like just, these I just little picture touches. them running away with jugs of piss. Yeah, piss jugs. <laughs> oh, someone's here. Quick. <laughs> like piss jug hit yeah. him. It's wonderful. That ending almost annoyed me, though, where I was like, I want to know what happens right now. Okay, yeah, Netflix right. Netflix is so. pretty good with that. Yeah, this is a good cliffhanger. We're going to get to see what the fuck's uh, going on. Uh, Any tidbits we have not uh, addressed? I liked 37. 37 that they know about. Yeah. <laughs> stuff, and I'm like, you fucking badass. Because I was wondering, when Micro said 37, I was like, does Micro think that number's low or high? Right. Because I said, 37? Like, it did Like, goddamn, Frank, me, you're a maniac. I couldn't tell if, if which way it was. Like, oh my god, this guy killed 37 in a row? Uh, or or one was day. it... A, yeah, one day. And you're like, oh shit. Yeah, because I think in, in certain ones we saw him kill like 40 people <laughs> almost in a row. Yeah, so like some of the people he's killed, like I don't know if they know about the dude that he sniped from Texas or whatever, right? I don't know if they know about the people on the road in uh, Arkansas. Well, anytime there was no fuck, witness, right? I yeah. don't think they can 100% it's pin it on him. It's just some people died. Those like uh, 8 to 10 people he shot in the room, the like... Uh, the card game, and you know, in this yeah. season, like in this season alone, he's killed thirty-seven people. I think <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Um, I like this thing, w w which I thought you would like too. Is nothing I hate more in this world than a goddamn bomb and all that stuff. Where he's like fucking cowards and all this yeah. business. Yeah, because you've talked about too, where you would have loved to have lived long enough ago to be able to fight with your hands, but not uh, so not long ago where a bomb could just explode from the from the, yeah. like the top and like murder everyone or whatever. I like the time of skill. I liked when people had oh, yeah. to think about something. Or like, do you actually believe in this? Because you're about to stab somebody. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you actually believe in what the in, cause in you're fighting the for. Cause you're yeah, yeah, things yeah. get a lot realer when it's like now you're gonna die slowly and screaming on a battlefield or <laughs> like you know now where it's like plink it's like a video game yeah, the stuff got with him the, he's just red mist the stuff with drones the stuff with weird yeah. uh, teams no, it's and stuff sick it's horrible in. I think yeah. a lot more things and like I love the, like in Troy when he's like we can settle this right now your best versus mine like, yeah. I think that shit's the dopest shit in the it world it is the dopest shit in the world and I wonder how many things, if ever, were actually settled like that. So what I always think when a scene like that happens is like when the one person wins or loses, it's like a coin flip or some chance that like the loser side goes, fuck it, charge. Well, just, you were there <laughs> for a war anyway. Yeah, so. you're like, ah, fuck, who cares, we lost. Yeah. Eh. And But like sometimes they were like, okay, it's fine. Like it depends, I think, on like what the fight was for. If it's like you're invading my country and let's settle it like that. Yes. And then we lost, I'd be like, Turns out we don't give a fuck. Fight. <laughs> We're still doing yeah, it. Yeah, but if it was like, you, yeah. you insulted my daughter's honor. Yeah, if you're, if, All right. Right, if you're arguing over like a river somewhere and you're like, I don't know, why are we, why are we even doing this? Oh, the king likes the river fucking. I and think you're like, things yeah. like that really established yeah. how good of a king you had. Ooh. Or emperor or whatever. Because if your king truly cares about his people, he would rather not lose. You, you would like avoid the war. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, yeah. I would a hundred percent love shit like like I would I would be yeah. all for things like that. Oh, games and this and that, like to like you know to make us yeah, like yeah. settle disputes because I don't I these are my people. I, I don't want them. Yeah, to. is that what the Olympics was? That was something else. I think. That was bragging rights. Okay, there was something that was like we're gonna do this instead of uh, instead of like let let just everything descend into mm -hmm. like war or something. Yeah. Uh, historically. Uh, I liked, uh, uh, Frank says, uh, Karen says something like, do not do this and say that it's for me. Yeah. <laughs> she like cut him like that or whatever. You can tell like, how, again, like, you know, the caring for Karen thing. Like he's like, oh, no, she is family. He freaks out. I thought that might've been like a little too much. Cause he goes on like tilt. He's like all over the place. I thought it was like good acting and like, like yeah. a good thing, but it was almost shocking to me. Like once he knew she was in danger, I love it, but I'm not sure. There's was, so little a, amount of people it was a in little this jarring, world that, yeah. that Frank even, uh, even, knows yeah. anymore so I think anyone that, that he has remotely had contact with he will fight tooth and nail to death to save them it kind of puts into like uh, contrast or perspective the micro's wife thing because he's sure. like he's like he's like listen I don't want your wife and he says it like that like I want my wife she's dead go fuck yourself I don't want your wife or whatever it's yeah. a micro and like we're still like is he flirting why is he making these choices or whatever but now that he, we see what he looks like when he does really care about someone when he sees yeah, yeah. about Karen I'm like oh never mind there was maybe there's going to be nothing else with Micro's wife at all. Maybe this is like the real shit. Because he was like, his eyes were darting around. He was all like fucking, like, I, I wrote down like like on tilt. He's like super like, holy shit. I think though, this if, big if deal. uh, I think you'd see him freak out though if there was actually a threat on Micro's wife. He's, he's, he's made a connection. He's grown really attached to like the kids and to her and everything, and even to yeah. Micro now. Where that would definitely be like a whole thing. But like the things, the subtle things I thought I was picking up on, I'm like, oh no, 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 no. That's this is <laughs> this is when he's like, oh shit, I really care about this person. Yeah. Like goddamn. Yeah. 
Uh, I think that's everything that happened in this episode. I want to make a little. I'm going to keep. I've I've always known. So uh, Billy with the security for the senator was a cool thing. So oh yeah, we didn't touch base on that, and and they did have some cool quips where he like totally. you know, he said, I I do like the like if you shoot someone in the head, I'm kind of the gun control guy. I know that would be bad. Well, if you're dead, that'd be bad too. <laughs> no, like that was a super awesome conversation. It, it so so th- so this was the senator from the radio show. They had Karen. Yeah. They had like the the like scumbaggy radio host who's like we're gonna get ratings and. And then, like uh, this weird senator out of nowhere. Do you think the like, bomb was his um, his office? Oh, the senator's office, maybe. What do you mean? Uh, I, I, the, I never uh, know how big the world is. Yeah, I know yeah. they're staking out Men, uh, Mendani, but I don't think mm. the bomb happened on her. I no, think no, it was like it was like the little, and that might have been his well, campaign headquarters. It was in like the homeland. So yeah, yeah. Oh, they rattle off where it is. They were like two more bombs exploded downtown in the whatever precinct and the whatever building. They might have yeah. been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, I think, is just a guy who like cares about gun control. And th- and they even say during the conversation, how does that have to do with bombs? And he's just like, well, and they're trying to like make it into the issue or something. That's and, and, but, but that's uh, so real. That's how yeah, every idiot wonderful. thing on the news is. I'm like, would you ever just answer the goddamn question, <laughs> you son of a bitch? I know. I actually wanted Karen to say, you didn't answer the fucking question. Uh, Did dur- you see that dumb times. son of a bitch that was trying to outlaw muskets? When what? There there was something on the news oh, like last week where oh to make the point about the Second Amendment, I guess. Uh, I I can't. I don't know what or was his it actually that muskets was. are, are uh, becoming a thing. Some company makes muskets, and they're not as hard to get as guns are because they're muskets. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because see first part of sentence. So, so like the, the guys like like well, you could have people and like I think they could they can fire silently and stuff too now. Like there's, wow. there's like like easier to make them silent. Are they black powder? They're, I forget what their exact deal is, okay. but the, it's like they are muskets there, blah, blah. And the guy's like, well, we can't have someone like the DC sniper firing silently, blah, blah, blah. He goes, yes, but what, in general, a guy could do that with any gun ever. Why are you going after muskets, the least I, dangerous of all guns possible? I feel like it has, well, do you have more to say about well, the t- it, like yeah, It takes going. three minutes to reload, and it's a musket. And it's a fucking musket. <laughs> and, 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 and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention again, it's a musket. No, like I feel like uh, when you brought it up, I feel like because w- when people talk about the Second Amendment, they always say, "Well, that was written back when things were just muskets, mm-hmm. and therefore blah 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 blah." So my assumption was someone is specifically targeting the modern musket in a way of like combating the Second Amendment and being like, "Well, we specifically <laughs> outlaw muskets, therefore your e- even your other arguments, you know, invalid and fuck you." Ah, oh, God, it's just uh, everything about everything. Just there's always someone where I'm like, "Oh, you're an idiot." You're an idiot. No, and this guy comes off. A knife like is that. more dangerous than a musket. Than a musket. You, uh, could, you could run through a mall at Christmas time and and probably kill a hundred people with a with knife. A, with a no, with A musket, you'd be like, a, all right, hang on. I feel like they weren't very accurate. Gotta like, pack the fucking thing. If you got hit with one, I think it did like tear up like a big chunk out of you. But I don't think they're they're a as musket, accurate. The biggest damage. Uh, the biggest. Uh, I think. Uh, drawback to being shot by a musket was the bullet doesn't travel fast enough to kill the germs on the bullet and you would then have an infected wound. Sweet. While now modern bullets are fucking like breaking the sound barrier and germs just shoot off. And the germs just go (laughs) and fly off the bullet. Okay, that's all uh, that's all a thing. Um Billy in this conversation though is all like uh, he, he was pretty good. I liked his so like you got to see uh from like I think this is the one time of like the whole other end where this is him like selling. Like he brings some boys yeah. that stand behind him. Uh, you know, on the way out, he like tells them like like you know what's up, and then he leaves. But he leaves, so this is just him. And because he left is why I think the yeah. bomb could have gone off there. That's interesting. Had he yeah. stayed, I would have been like maybe not, or he maybe, just have like the one cut across the eye, and he's like, oh, it's on now. Right, right, okay. But like, um, I like the line about insurance. I wanted to say, yeah, where he says like, uh, you know, if you need a, you know, if you, you know, if you do need us, it'll be. You know, like hopefully you're gonna be like, what the hell are these guys doing here? What am I paying them for? But if we, you know, if you do need us, then like blah blah blah. And they kind of haggle, right? Where he's like, and he will try to subdue them in the most uh, humane way possible. And then they shake hands, like, yeah. you're on the same page. Yeah, you're the man. And they do this. And weird, that means like, I'm gonna shoot him in the head. It, that's what's gonna happen. He's kind of just winking at him and all that shit. But uh, no, that that whole thing, right? The whole like the politics of it, the weird positioning of shit, right? Because he's like, well, I don't like guns. And he's like, you like guns when, when people like me have them. You're, you're, like, you're trying to hire armed security. Yeah. What the fuck? And he goes, listen, man. And they're doing like, the whole thing. I'm like a, I'm like a huge fan of that. Yeah, so that's going to turn into something, uh-huh. right? That's going to be Has to. what happens in like the thing. 
And I, and I like Billy still being you know in, involved and doing shit or whatever. And you could bleed into the whole world now if you have this gun control senator die. You have in the next episode of people cracking down. These super mutants are just <laughs> the superhumans are just like guns. We can't have those. <laughs> and and you know yeah. something we didn't we you know we haven't mentioned because it's it's brand new. Uh, Disney has recently acquired Fox. Oh so my God! You can actually have mutants and stuff happening in the next couple of so seasons. So when the explosion first happened in like the beginning of this episode, mm-hmm. I had totally forgotten about Lou. I'd forgotten about the bombs. I'd forgotten about everything. I thought this might have been the part in the Defenders where, like, the stuff underground is, like, fucking with stuff or something like that. I thought it was going to be, like, crossing and over with shit or circle. something like that. Yeah, or something. Or something super or something, like, outlandishly, like, whatever the fuck. Mm. So, yeah, I would like things to, to touch. It'll be nice. I, I can't wait, though, uh, just because I just brought it up, to, yeah. to, for more mutant things to happen. Because now you can have you can have X-Men, the Mar- the Netflix series. I know. Like, you, you, all the things, like, you don't need any of this, like, oh, you know, st- like, no no dancing around it. You can straight up go, mutants, 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 all mutants, mutants, all mutants, 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 Yeah, mutants. Yeah, I haven't, like, seen the details of, like, the deal or if it's limited to any specific things. They, bo- they, they own frames. outright. Okay. Uh, 20th Century Fox. Right, so there's and no... And all their uh, subsidiaries. They're going to have to... Yeah, that's what I had seen, and I'm like, they're going to have to worry about Monopoly shit at this point. They keep buying shit. They own, like, so many things now. It's, like, not good. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there's no, like, time frames or sunsetting or contracts or anything, no. right? They just own it. I don't know if you can get into Monopoly stuff when you're buying franchises. Because you're not buying, like... Well... You're not buying... Uh, like franchise in the sense of like I own McDonald's, KFC, Bob. Like you're not, you know, I don't own all the fast food. I'm owning uh, intellectual property. I don't know if they did they actually acquire well, their it, their buildings and stuff too, or I, just their. I think if you buy Lucas Films, you own ILM, you own all the holdings, all the properties, uh. all the locations, all the personnel. So I think when they buy Disney, like, you own the fucking thing with the Lion King thing and the whole thing. Like, you own everything. I think. I don't know. Because usually they say we are, like, you know, acquiring the rights to Spider-Man. Or we are, like, like acquiring the rights to the Marvel comics. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, this, what I read, too, and I haven't. Now Spider-Man, the only one just happened. They don't have Spider-Man, but they have the deal with Sony for Spider-Man. That's uh, You know, that's the whole thing. You hear about, like, a weird deal or something. This, if they actually just bought 20th Century Fox, that means, like, they own, uh, I don't know what other movies they fucking put out. But, like, they own, like, Jurassic. Park, let's just say, if that was a Fox, but uh-huh. like, they just own all that. They just fucking own everything. They're gonna make their own Ready Player One, sh- like, like, <laughs> like. They own shit so much now; point. it's amazing. No, that's like it's kind of fucked because it's everything that they owned before, plus, uh, you know, Marvel, Disney, and now Fo- Fox. You know, which was all the X Men and Deadpool, right? Or no, is that Deadpool? Uh, yeah, that's like everything. Deadpool, X Men, and I thought I heard last year that they they were acquiring uh, Paramount stuff. Oh, but I shit. thought they acquired Buffy in in some transaction. I don't know who's who. I'm really bad with that shit. Um, I don't know. Well, we've kind of gone on a tangent here, yeah, guys. Let's clip us into a separate video. That was this episode of uh, we talking about. Uh, let us know Lay, what, Punisher. Below, what you're thinking about on this episode of the Punisher. Don't die in a fire, and we will see you next time.